Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner, runner, and this is Rampart Airsoft. <laughs> we had such a blast today playing out in the forests of Colorado, and I hope you all enjoy the gameplay. Guys, you having a good time? Yeah! All right, enjoy the gameplay, everybody. Thank you all for checking out the channel, and while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just go wherever. Go! Welcome back to another gameplay video. In today's gameplay, we push our hardest to fight our way through the valley, up the ridge, and try to secure the bomb point in the drop zone. We're playing in Rampart in Colorado and the feeling right now is tense the spawn points are far away we cannot accurately see where the enemy is at the present moment with all of the high ridges around us we are making a very dangerous play by entering the lowest point of this valley if the enemy gets the high ground, it could make it a very, very difficult fight for us. No visuals, guys, no visuals. Stay behind cover. I don't know where they're at. If they were smart, they'd take that high ground. Okay, a point up. that I will come to soon regret. 100 yards. Most likely. Come on. Come on, move up. The bomb's right there, guys. They're on the hill. They're above us. No, I see it. Move up. Michael, on this tree. As we start to near the location of the bomb, it's our goal here to try and secure it, so that way we can get it back up the hill and to the drop zone. Okay, their flag is up the hill. Oh, close. I can't, oh, they're there, okay. God, the snow is whiting out my BBs. Okay, Michael, you're light and fast. I want to try to get you up there, okay? All right. Go for the bomb. Do you see it? My nephew, using a much lighter primary than I am, the orange cone? is definitely Dude, faster. The orange cone. On the log. Yes. There's a bomb right next to it. Go get that bomb. We'll move on you. Okay? And then we have to move up the hill. Ready? Three, two, go. Michael makes his way up to the okay. bomb Michael, get and the lets us defend him you. the best we can. We are in the lowest point of this valley and the enemy team has the height advantage on us. Their shots have a lot easier time reaching us than our shots reaching them. Is that a friendly? Is that a friendly? Friendly? Okay, he's friendly. Michael. Michael, get down low. Set that MP5 down, get down low. Get to the bomb, go. Just get down low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Get back by, get a bit below the rock. No, 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 don't set it. If Michael set stays it. for too long, he risks getting shot get, and one of us having to run and medic him back in. What? Well, the one they're defending. That's ours? So theirs is over here. Okay, cool. All right, these long engagement distances. Sir, can you, we get you to squat up with us, please? Once we secured the bomb and accurately figured out where the drop zone was, we then hiked up the ridge and tried to get the high ground on the enemy. 
What we didn't realize is the enemy forces had completely secured every area around us, and we were in for the fight of our lives. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Guys, we all need to push as a line. Let's go. We keep their heads down. Ryan, our team captain, did his best to mobilize us as one unit. But sadly, it was not enough. And maybe we were not enough for him. Ryan goes down trying to push and lead us down the hill into enemy territory. I now have enemies at my nine o'clock and at my 12 o'clock. And then there are enemies that I cannot even see on the other side of the ridge. They're shooting from down below. I'm not in a good spot. Here I decide to disengage the enemy, drop my rifle, and get over to Ryan and try to medic him back into the game. The wind is not working for any of us right now. It is knocking all of our shots off of target and making it that much harder to get a kill shot on the enemy. Their forces again are scattered all around us still and we are having a very hard time advancing. The tension here comes to the climax as I lose my life in the game. At this point, I go back to respawn, and when I get back, I find out my team has pushed up, but we were unsuccessful in being able to get the bomb to the drop zone. Thank you all so much for checking this video out and being a part of what makes Airsoft so fun for me. The channel is actually gaining a lot more people now than I actually ever thought it was going to. Um, this video definitely was different than videos that I've done in the past. I really wanted to give kind of a story to this gameplay um, and just kind of, you know, uh, dramatize what we were doing out on the field a little more. I, I had such a blast being able to take what we were doing on the field and, and try to convert it into this story that I felt was, was dynamic and fun. Um, and, and playing in the mountains too, just gave such a great atmosphere for me to try my hand at this. I also want to say thank you so much to all the guys out at Rampart Airsoft, um, uh, putting together this game and and, and uh, doing just a great job of putting together free games for the community. I think it's so great. So shout out to those guys. But before I let you all go, I want you all to go down in the comments below and let me know what you guys thought, comments down here, <laughs> about like the story mode gameplays. What did you guys think? Is this something that you like? Is this something that you think that I should continue on the channel? 
Obviously, I won't do it every time, but I definitely think there are some games out there I would love to do it with. So let me know down in the comments below what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would subscribe as long as I've earned it. And I hope that I have. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all next time right here on Runner Runner Airsoft.